Hello everybody. Today we'll be learning about NDVI in QGIS. Uh, many people they find NDVI confusing, uh, or even though we perform the task in NDVI, we're not able to interpret it or not able to understand what we've done. So I've tried to uh, make all those problems clear, not in the detail minute level, but uh, at least for the beginner level, right? So let's get started. So NDVI stands for normalized difference vegetation index. So mathematically it can be calculated with the difference of NIR and R that is divided by the summation of NIR and R. NIR and R are nothing but uh, near to far rate and visible rate. Okay. So a healthy plant uh, you can see in the picture the one with the green color. Uh, it absorbs more visible rate so this is the reflected visible rate that is 8% and that is reflected near infrared that is 50% so a healthy plant absorbs the visible rate more that is radiates the visible rate less and uh, radiates the infrared uh, more but in case of unhealthy plant uh, it uh, radiates both near infrared and visible rate uh, almost in the similar uh, quantity look at here there is 40 percent radiation of near infrared and 30 percent radiation of visible rate so this is the uh, characteristic of the uh, unhealthy plant right so uh, ndvi is helpful in uh, understanding about the density of green areas that is the forestry to understand how dense the forest is or how the greenery is distributed what's the land use pattern over there uh, this is uh, analyzed with the help of NDVI it is uh, widely used for the calculation of the disaster risk especially landslides uh, whether the area is forested or not and if the area is barren how to uh, increase the area of forest right it could be used for various purposes so we'll try to understand how NDVI is calculated okay in QGIS so let's go to QGIS let's open the QGIS uh, application okay let me add the map of India go to layer add layer add vector layer and select the file indian admin 1.ssp in my case okay you can easily find this save file in the net not a big problem okay add and close now let us add the um, map for uh, ndvi okay so here we go this is the ndvi map Okay, for the sake of convenience, I will be uh, doing it in only one state. Okay, so let me select uh, Sikkim from the map of India, Sikkim province. We know that Sikkim is known as this organic state, very famous for all its greenery and uh, beauty. Let's select it and let's uh, clip it. Okay, so go to raster uh, and uh, extraction, clip plus for mask layer. Input layer would be more the raster layer, obviously. Mask layer would be the Indian admin with the selected features only. Okay, and we'll put out data type as a float 32, it is storage unit. You can save it or you can simply run it. Okay, I'm running it. Okay, it's completed. Let's close it now here we can see this is how the mask layer of Sikkim this is the map now we want to uh, find the NDVI we want to check what is the percentage of uh, greenery area or how the density differs from place to place for that what we go is we go to raster and click on raster calculator okay you can see here clip mask 1 clip mask 2 okay what we do is you just go to output layer give the location okay you can give any name for example let's say um, ndvi underscore sikkim let's save it and calculation double uh, you can see clip mask at one clip marks two this is band one and band two what we do is uh, band 2 minus band 1 
that is divided by band 2 plus band 1 that's how we can the NDVI okay click ok so this is it you can see uh, it ranges from minus 0 0.478 to 61 to 0.994198 so what you have to understand is uh, the more the value approaches towards uh, 1 it means it is more greener and if it is in the range of minus value then it is uh, not so green area okay so to understand it more uh, in a clear way let's change the symbology double click on the layer go to symbology and go to single band pseudo color let's change the color ramp okay simply go to create new color ramp and select uh, catalog cpt city okay here go to qgis select grass and you can there are multiple options go for ndvi click ok and click ok so this is it you can see uh, the variation of the color you see the green one that is uh, more these are the uh, greenery areas okay um, uh, the greener look at the density how they are located you can simply uh, go to this uh, identity features identify features click here and if you click here you can simply find look at this the value is 0 0.8 that is near about 1 so if the, the value is near about 1 it means uh, highly green uh, okay if you click in this blue area you can see 0.0 percent .0 has been decreasing so if you click on this gray area it's almost decreasing okay so that is how ndvi works so i hope you are very much clear about the ndvi and uh, its concepts thank you very much thank you for watching